Hey, this is TJ from TJOnTheRoad.com. Today we're doing a quick tutorial on using the Morningstar MC8. I've got it right here at my feet. With Ableton Live, we're going to use the MC8 to control all the transport functions to turn on and off the metronome and to select the scenes on Ableton Live. So we'll talk a little bit about setting the MIDI parameters on the MC8 to go out from there and the MIDI mappings on Ableton Live to receive them to accept those changes. If you like the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get started. Now, what I want to show you here, this is Ableton Live, and here at my feet, we have the Morningstar MC8. And you'll see here on the Morningstar, I've set it up here so it has a start, a stop, a record, a metronome, and then you have the scenes, one, two, three, and four, that correspond to the scenes here that are on Ableton Live, that being scene one, two, three, and four. Uh, I made some basic tracks here with uh, just some drums and some bass, and you should be able to hear the differences between the different scenes. So let's just hit scene one and see how it sounds. And then we go to scene two. Okay, so that's basically what I have set up here, and I'm going to show you how that is done. Now, the first thing you have to decide before you get started is what kind of commands that you need to use. Well, with Ableton Live, it responds to MIDI note commands. And the way you can want to do that is you want to go to this little icon up here that says MIDI, and this puts you into MIDI mode or MIDI learn mode. And you'll see here on the side the MIDI mappings. And these are the mappings that I have selected uh, from Ableton Live. Now, the way to do that, it has to receive those from the MC8. So I'm working a little bit in reverse here. So I'm going to go back to the start. I'm going to show you how that's done. So what I'm going to do is take this, and I'm going to select all. All right, and I'm just going to delete these for now. All right, so we started at the beginning. Now, as I had said, it takes MIDI notes. So it doesn't really matter what note you take, but you can just start at MIDI one and go all the way up for the different scenes, for example, if that's what you want to do, or you can use other controls and I'll show you that in a moment. The first thing you need to do though, is to go to the Morningstar editor and you need to set up for the different scenes. Now the start one, we'll start there. That is preset A. And I've named that start. And it's a simple press action as opposed to all the other types of actions that you can have with the Morningstar MC8. And it is a note on as opposed to a control change or a program change. Okay. And what I've selected is note number 17. And you'll see in a little while why I've selected that number. I'll, we'll go back to that. Doesn't matter really the velocity. I just selected a velocity of one. And I've selected the MIDI channel of 15. Now, the reason why I selected 15 is that I just wanted a high channel as opposed to a lower channel. So I wanted to get a high channel. That way, there's no potential conflicts with other recordings that I may do on lower channels. So that's my start message. I've set this up. If I go and hit the stop message, hit the B on the Morningstar MC08, that's the stop. And you'll see here again. Same type of thing, I've named it. It is a simple press. The note is on, except this time the note number is one higher, it's 18. Again, the same velocity, same MIDI channel. Same is true for record. And then I want to toggle the metronome on and off. So that's the metronome on with a note number of 20. Now, Ableton automatically toggles on and off when it receives that. And then for the scenes, I have scene one. Well, that's where I started at note number one. And again, for note one, 
at channel 15. Same thing for scene one. And I go through the different scenes. Scene two. Scene three. Scene four. Okay. And then I can go to the next page where I've actually set up scenes here on the MC8 for up to 12 scenes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So if you remember, when I went back to the start, I had to pick something higher than 12, which is why I started with 17 in order to make sure it wouldn't conflict with the other scenes. So now that you have this all set up, what you need to do is to get the Ableton Live to learn those commands. So again, you want to put it in the MIDI mode, the MIDI learn, the MIDI mapping mode, as they call it. And you want to press, you'll see all one of these little purple sections that allow you to use that as a destination for your MIDI command. So when I want to set it up for play, I double click on that, and then I'm going to hit my Morningstar A button, which represents the start that I've set up before. And you'll see over here, it has that note that says transport for that for start. And then I can double click on the stop. And then I go into the stop here on the Morningstar. Does that. Same for record. We're going to go through all of them. Then I want to do it for the metronome. And now I want to go over here and I want to select the scene. So this is scene one. And then scene two. Scene three. And scene four. And you'll see over here in this dialog box, it shows all the different mappings that you already have. And in order to save that, all you need to do is get out of the mode by clicking the MIDI here. So that's it. You set it all up for that. It's all set up for uh, automatic control via MIDI with the Morningstar MC8. And now I can hit the start on there. It'll start playing the last scene that was chosen. Now it's number four here. Hit stop. I can turn on the metronome. When I hit start, it goes. I can turn off the metronome. Now, there's one other thing I want to make sure to show you. You can actually use the expression pedal to variably control different parameters. So here in the second track where the bass is, I have a plugin, the uh, Altoria OBXAV. Now, with this case, like many plugins, you can actually assign a controller to that. Now, if I bring back the Morningstar and I go here to do controlling settings, that being the Morningstar MIDI editor, okay, you'll see I've selected for expression input three and expression input four the choice of expression as opposed to a aux switch or a fixed switch or just a MIDI out. So right now I'm plugged into expression pedal four, so that's good. And what I need to do is I need to actually hit the expression pedal, and you'll see it change up here. Oops. And you'll see it change up here. And then you go back to the preset, and now it's going to ask you where you want that. So I've chosen CC number number 20, okay, for MIDI control command. 20 is a good number because in the MIDI standard, 20 is not assigned 20 through 30. So it's an empty one. You're sure you're not to get a conflict with that. And then you'll see here the minimum value of zero. The maximum value is 127 for MIDI. And you'll see here that I selected channel 16 
as I mentioned before, I use a different channel than I would normally use for the scenes. Uh, that way, there, I make sure there are no conflicts there. And now, when I want to go back to Ableton Live and the OBXAV plugin, right, I can go here to the MIDI Learn. Again, they turn purple. And you'll see here, I've actually already selected the uh, X mod. Okay, so I'll just do this again. It says MIDI control setup, it's in learning mode. So I want to hit the expression pedal. And it's set for that. Okay, so if I hit a note. Let's just say, for example, so you can hear it, I want to change it to the frequency. That's how you do it. Now it's all set up for that. Well, hey, that's it. Using the Morningstar MC8 with Ableton Live. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do share it and subscribe to this channel. Check out tjontheroad.com for more. And thanks so much for your support.